parent wants what's best for their kids, especially if they have a disability. But does plastic surgery on Down syndrome kids cross the line? Almost everyone is aware of the special facial features attributed to children with Down syndrome. Down syndrome is typically characterized by a flattened nose, a small chin, a very protruding tongue, and a slant to the angulation of the eye axis. Now, a growing number of parents are turning to plastic surgery to give their child a more normal look. That could give them a very powerful new outlook on life and perhaps reduce the preconceptions and misconceptions. But many parents and advocates for these children are outraged at this controversial procedure. You can't make a black person white. That's how I see it. You can't make a Down syndrome person into something that they're not. I am totally against plastic surgery. Every one of us is different. So if I didn't want to change the features in my other children, why would I want to change the features in my child with Down syndrome? And what about the child who has the surgery? The one child I did see who'd had the surgery, she didn't fit in either place anymore. She didn't look like a child with Down syndrome, but she certainly didn't look like a typical child. Perhaps the most important thing to remember in the midst of this highly contested debate is the child. These children are just beautiful the way they are. And they need to know that. They need to know that we love them the way they are. If I can impact a child's life and make that quality of life better, I don't see how a Downs patient should be excluded from that opportunity. Gail Williamson is the Director of Programs and Outreach for the Down Syndrome Association of Los Angeles and proud mother of Blair, who has Down Syndrome and is in our audience today. She, hi. Hey, Blair. Welcome. Hey, Blair. And with that said, Gail feels pretty strongly that this surgery on Downs kids has gone too far. And also with us is Dr. Ram Kalis, who has the opposite point of view. So he's a pediatric plastic surgery specialist. He's performed this procedure on kids with Down syndrome for cosmetic purposes. He says there's nothing wrong with it. They're both chomping at the bit, but I do want to remind everyone at home exactly what Down syndrome is. It affects approximately 3,400 babies every year in the US. And we have a very simple animation here to show you what happens. Most human cells have 46 chromosomes, but kids born with Down syndrome have an extra chromosome number 21, so they have 47 chromosomes. That's what leads to some de developmental abnormalities. It can lead to cardiovascular problems, obviously some of the issues we're talking about today, as well as mental retardation. And so the question here, of course, is it going too far? I think that if we try to bro bro wear, uh, use a broad brush stroke, and try to conclude that uh, all Down syndrome should have corrective surgery, that's preposterous. And do I think that no Down children should ever have corrective surgery? I think that's also untrue. I think one has to look at the individual case. And those who are mildly impaired, I believe, may stand a better chance at a more normal life, at a more normal sense of acceptance, if some of the very identifiable characteristics of Downs are corrected or made less severe. You know, we have to realize that we live on planet Earth, and on planet Earth, appearance matters.